<laughs> well, anyway, I know why you're out here today. You're going to watch me play some cards, right? Yep, yeah, sure. All right, well, I'm going to do that for you. First, let me introduce the friends I'm playing with today. Charlie Rich, come on out. Charlie Rich, a gambler from China. <laughs> Next up, we got retired riverboat captain, Captain William Massey. Come on out, Captain. There he is. <laughs> All right, Carl Mann, get on out of this. Carl Mann, owner of the saloon tab. <laughs> place you got here, Carl. <laughs> and last but not least, everybody's favorite guy at the bar, the bartender. Harry, uh, get out of here, Harry. There he is. Alright, like I said, I'm going to play some cards for you. First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I am James Butler Hickok. Folks, nowadays, well, they like to call me Wild Bill. You know, I was born in Troy Grove, Illinois in 1837. Quick, how old does that make me? 39, exactly right. Good job. Well, anyway, when I was just a kid, I worked on the family farm outside of Troy Grove, but I wanted something more. So I got myself a job. It's a job driving freight. Oh, I loved it too. I got to get out on my own, see some of the country I hadn't seen before, and work on my own in a minute. Who's winning? I am. No way. Captain yeah, never wins. What are you guys sleeping that bad? No way. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what, I am chomping at the bit to get in this game. Besides, oh, these folks are probably all sick to listen to me talk by now, anyway. Yep. Shut up, Jack! I see you out there! <laughs> Tell you what, I'm going to head up front. I'm going to kick that guy around a little bit. All right. Then I'll be back. We'll see you All right. We'll see y'all. Was looked down upon by those trained in ladylike etiquette, but nonetheless, they brought to the gold rush an air of reckless, dazzling excitement. By August 2nd, 1876, they were well established up and down Deadwood City's main street working around the clock in one fashion or the other. Honky-tonk piano and their songs of promising spirit filled the air. Many an unlucky prospector could find hope for tomorrow, for he knew what the night would bring. Engaged in a game of draw All right, I'll be there in a second. Give me a to join them. All right. Oh, uh, that whiskey, Harry. Wild Bill's reputation demanded that he be exceedingly cautious. For instance, he never liked to sit with his back to the door. The vacant seat was so located, and a lively debate between Charlie Rich and Bill hey, resulted in an attempt on Bill's no, 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 to get Charlie's man. chair. No, it isn't. You know I sit there. Get out. I'm very comfortable. Very comfortable. Bill okay, is not given his request right there. and grudgingly yeah, with great hesitation took yeah. the empty chair. But after a few minutes he stood up and again asked Charlie for his chair. Dang it, Charlie, I can't sit here and you know it. Now get out of my chair. This ain't your chair. Bill didn't win this argument either. And on this rare occasion he sailed down sitting with his belt to the door. Wariness though kept Bill alert. For all knew he to be a left-handed drinker, leaving his right hand free to handle his pistol. As unpredictable as card games are, Bill found himself quickly losing to Massey, who had lost to Bill the night before. Man, I'm confused Bill asked already. Harry for $15 worth of no with Harry brought them over to Bill and returned to the bar from Harry. and his duties. Thank you. Uh, it's one of you. Oh, sorry. So oh, yeah, hey, Jack hey, McCall the saloon. And Bill quickly turned him. Turn while drawing his gun. Recognizing McCall as a newcomer to town, he greeted him with a friendly Howdy, Jack. Then reholstered his gun Man, and resumed in the game. Last night played, oh, yeah. Jack slowly well, circled the table, pausing briefly behind oh, each player and analyzing Man, each hand. Four. <laughs> four. Big time. Four. Yeah. You got four? four. You got four? Hey, give me a shot of that whiskey, y'all. Hey, you ain't getting any. Four, two. 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 Four, two.
And Wild Bill remarked, Yeah, so you know I'm going to take them all over there. You might as well push them in there now and get your money over there. directly behind Wild Bill, suddenly Jack McCall, Take that dog! Jeez! Don't none of you spook! The bullet struck Bill on the back of the head, coming out of his left cheek, and lodged in Captain Massey's left arm. It was discovered soon after the cards Bill was holding were aces and eights, forever known as the dead man's hand. All fled the saloon except Carl Mann, who was held at bay by McCall. Jack snapped the trigger of his gun several times. It failed to fire. He then ran out the door and up the street. He was found hiding in a building behind a butcher shop. Later on in the day, he was tried in a miner's court. The jury, being tainted and influenced by a deceitful defense, found McCall not guilty, and he was released. This decision not only outraged the judge, but also the general populace. McCall left the camp in haste. Upon reaching supposed safety in Wyoming, he began...